right, so uh, when I break down Tino Hanko, I'm usually doing this sort of uh, connection. The uh, base is the same and everything. I have this kind of connection. And then from here, to, you let it slip so I have the option of a temi or a technique. Or whatever, okay? But I didn't turn away. Make it conscious of it, and that would be different. Okay. A lot of times, the smallest movement, the simplest, is the hardest. Okay. We usually want to do more okay, than we have to. So. Just a little turn of the center. Okay. Okay. Most people want to commit. If the one that's grabbing doesn't have any commitment, why bother? <laughs> We're just hanging out there. No, it's, uh, such an important aspect that um, if you have this, it, it's like most things, you start out uh, well, you know, do a good job with the start, you know, some people that are testing, first technique, you want to do it nice and clean, you know, show, show it uh, well, do it right, and then most likely the others will fall into place, you know, never get a second chance to make a first impression, all that kind of stuff, right? <clears throat> so, um, if you start out correctly and build on that, that's better than starting out incorrectly and building on that. Okay? So, the spender just said another couple minutes with this, so I think this is you know, correct. Okay? So, I, I have a confidence in myself, I have a good presence, good carriage, good connection to my partner. Okay? And this has more of a feeling of, uh, oh, please, you know, rather than, come here, yeah. <laughs> you know. So, He'll pick up on those sort of things. If I'm trying to all of a sudden try to pull him, he's going to pull back. Okay? But if I just make this a polite gesture, oh, please. You know, it's, it's this kind of gesture that you just let the, if Jeff was coming towards me, you know, oh, you know, please. You know, and that sort of thing. You know? um, as opposed to uh, showing him the door. That would be the next, the next one. Okay? So even though this is uh, seems like such a silly you know, uh, exercise, this is really important. You know? uh, so I'll just give you another couple minutes and then, then we'll move on to some of the other stuff. Okay. I can be benevolent or not, you know. <laughs> you know, your choice. You get to exercise an ethical option at this point. Okay. <laughs>
there's, um, there's three um, you know, partner exercises that apparently OSENSI recommended to do on a regular basis. One was um, uh, Tai no Henko that we're doing now. Uh, the other was Moro Totori and Kokyoho, you know, which is on fifth cue um, test. And then sitting Kokyoho or Kokidosa, you know, which we'll do also. And it's on all the tests, okay, including what's going to be the new six cue. Um, so this is important. So now there, okay, and let them pass on by. And this hip will cut back. So he's already in position. I don't need to do anything else to him. So now, let yourself turn right on past. Now it's like allowing them to go through the door okay, without getting out of the way. Okay. And this hip. Goes back. Okay. And when that hip goes back, this relates to what we were doing in the first class too. I don't want this foot to swing like that, right? Because then you have to do the counterbalance of your head going over this way. Okay. <clears throat> you relax your knee. This hip comes back, this foot just passes by the other foot. Okay. Okay. But the hip leads, the foot follows, okay. as opposed to you know, foot going. Okay, so once more. Um, you know, you know, at first you want to connect to yourself, you know, because a lot of times we're just out there, you know, we're thinking about the problems and, you know, what you have to do today and, you know, good stuff and all that, but you're out there, okay? So first you connect to yourself, okay? And that'll tell you what kind of uh, state of mind you're in, you know, and you look for a, a balance point. And then you connect to your partner, okay, physically, you know? Then the next stage is you connect to your partner regardless of lack of physical contact, right? So, so this technique, you know, starts right away. Okay? I already had a connection with this. Okay? It doesn't start when, you know, I already have a sense of maybe things I want to do and you know, Just for another minute, then, okay, when you're getting ready to do this from a distance, you know, okay, watch out for the statue. You know, people who've been around for a while know that if I think you're being a statue, I'll come by and brush your shoulder <laughs> you know, to get the pigeon poop off. <laughs> so if you feel that, you know that you're too too static. Okay, you want to now be that living, breathing, moving, you know, 
Okay. You already have a connection with them across the distance. Okay. Engage them. Okay. Yep. And then, yeah, you got your chance to be John with Picard, you know, and engage. <laughs> <laughs> and making the connection, um, yeah, I can relate this to walking down the street. Uh, I usually do this. So, uh, if I'm walking down the street like this, you know, timid, you know, this is just, you know, this is uh, red meat to a predator, you know, you know. Oh boy, you know, this is easy. But if, and if I'm walking around like this, then a predator thinks, oh, hey, hey guys, come on, let's let's get this guy. You know? Arrogance, you know, my arrogance, you know. <laughs> you know. So it might scare off somebody to challenge to others, you know. But if I'm just walking around in balance, you know, I'm ready to go, whichever way, you know. So the timidity and arrogance are the two, you know, extremes, you know, you want to find the, the balance, okay? So when you're working on these connections to your partner, and, and the timidity and the arrogance, that's flight, fight, okay? The two, two most basic responses. <clears throat> but there's flight, fight, freeze, you know? And we wanna learn how to float and flow, right? <laughs> so th three or four Fs, right? <laughs> um, so, uh, hey, John, you know, there we go. Um, and for that last one, you know, uh, the, the fight is pushing and then insisting, okay? okay? The um, uh, flight is letting them come in, okay? So you were just working on finding a happy medium, okay? And uh, not being committed either way, even though e either way is a good uh, uh, viable responses, you wanna be conscious of your responses, okay? Not them determine uh, you know, so much what you do, okay? So you're already doing a good job of Finding yourself in balance and moving from there with your partner. Okay? <clears throat> so, to myself while I connect to my partner. Oh, 
need to rush. Okay? I, I usually say, take your time, train the synapses to the nerve endings. Everything needs to know its job so that when you go fast, you know, everything clicks into place. Okay? But if you're going fast and there's parts here that you're going to miss, I don't know what my job is here, you know, but you know, he just did that, he just did that, I don't know what my part is. So take your time. Okay, raise your hand if your uh, wrist is connected to your elbow. <laughs> All right, raise your hand if your elbow is connected to uh, your torso. <laughs> it, it definitely is, otherwise it would be a big gap there. Right? So, so, in other words, you know, everything, even this, is connected to this. So, if uh, this happens with all of our gravity techniques, our mind goes there. He's got a good grip, our mind goes there, we think we have to do something there. No. Move everything else. I didn't try to move my wrist. It's moving, but why did it move? It moved because I changed this, which allowed me to change my elbow and form, which allowed me to change my wrist, which allowed me to step in. All right? Before you do it, make sure your wrist is attached to your elbow. So, um, with your elbow, in this, in this connection, um, those of you that have kids, you know, you got two kids, right? And you want to guide them through, you know, the zoo, you know? You, and, okay, let's go over here, you know, you guide them like this, you know? If you have them out like this, you know, 
and you're gonna, your attention's gonna be back and forth, you know, and you're gonna tend to, oh, look at this, look at this. So you're not really in control, right? Okay, come on, let's go, we'll go see the lines. You know? Okay, like that. So then, your elbows, in this case, are like your kids, okay? If they get too far away from you, you know, you, you're not gonna have control, okay? So I'm gonna keep it in front. Thank <laughs> you.